Hello everyone. Now we will go for our next debugging exercise or challenge. And our major motto of this playlist is to increase our debugging skills. Now in this particular debugging exercise, our challenge is to find out why, why we are unable to download the smart form PDF. Now we will go in such a way. If you have the knowledge of smart form topic, you can also find the solution. If you do not have at least where the problem is, we can find out this. So we will simply, simply firstly go for the challenge. What is the problem in the code? Suppose I'm running the program. Suppose functional came to you and they are saying they are passing the order number. They are giving some dynamic text. Anyways, it's optional. They are executing the program. And they are saying zero bytes is downloaded. This program is to download the smart form PDF. And if they are checking the PDF, Nothing is in the PDF, nothing. Just find out why, why the PDF is not getting downloaded. So we will simply, simply go for the program. And we will go in such a way that our major task is to find out where the problem is. If you have the knowledge, it is extremely good. You can crack that portion very easily. If you do not have no problem, We'll go step by step to find out the solution. So what we will do, I will simply put a breakpoint on first executable statement. This is our first executable statement. We all know we cannot put the breakpoint on declarations, data declaration, parameters. These all are declarations. We cannot put the breakpoint on declaration. We need to put the breakpoint on the code executable state. We need to put the breakpoint on rather than code, I will say executable code or executable statements. I will run the program. I will give order number one and I will give the dynamic text. I will execute. I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. I am currently on 22nd number line. So, program stopped on 22nd. I am doing F6, F6 line by line execution. So, I am executing 22nd line. 23rd, 24th, done. Now, I am on 27th number line. On 27th number line, this is a function module. If you see, there is no dot in between. Dot is directly on 37 number line. So do not blindly go inside the function module. And anyways, it is SAP function module, which starts with S. It is other than Z or Y. So do not blindly go inside the function module. Inside this function module, we might have lax lines of code. And this function module does not have a problem at all. It is giving us the correct output. So firstly, find out, is there any problem or not? So without blindly going inside, just check. Do you have a expected thing or not? We are passing the smart form. This is our smart form. But this function module is doing, we are passing the smart form and it is returning the function module of the smart form. I will double click on LV underscore F name. Just see it is blank as of now. I'm doing F6. Whenever I will do F6, this thing, will treat as one line and control will come on to 38 number line. I'm doing F6. 
you can see psi sub r c zero. Zero means what? It is successful. And are we getting a result into LV underscore F name? Yes. So it means this portion do not have any problem at all. This portion is perfectly fine, perfectly fine. Those who have the knowledge of the smart form topic, they can easily, easily do one thing. This is your smart form. This is your smart form. Control C. Go to the smart form transaction code, smart forms. This is just for extra knowledge. We are running the smart form. This is the function module of the smart form, which is ending with what? 049. Are we getting 049? Yes. So first portion is perfectly fine. Perfectly. Now we will move next. I'm on 38 number 9. I'm doing F6. Now these are the lines in which we are passing the values. No dialog, preview, get OTF, TD, test. I'm doing F6, 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 F6. Now I'm on 48 number line. 48 number line. See, LV underscore F name is this. LV underscore F name is this. It means we are calling this function module. Now, we are passing the values. Just see, we are passing the various values. And this is the result we are getting. It is important to understand whenever you are calling the function modules, we are passing the values from right to left. It is returning from, yes, it is returning from left to right, left to right. So in this LS job output info, we are getting the result. Okay. Now I will simply, simply do F6. Whatever the values we passed, we are passing it to this function module. These are the various parameters and we are getting the result, getting the result. I'm doing F6. Now you can see psi sub R C is zero, zero. It means this part executed successfully, nothing. I did F6 because there's no need to blindly go inside the function module. Firstly, check where the problem is, where the problem is. Now I will come on to next part. Now I will go to next. Now I am on 76 number line. What we are doing on 76 number line. This is again one function module of SAP. Because name starts with what? C. It is not starting with Z. It is SAP function module itself. Now, if I will do F6 from the 76 number line, the control will directly, directly come on to 100 number line. Now, what we are doing? We are passing format PDF. LS job output info hyphen OTF data. Now, just see. From where you are getting LS job output info? It is from the previous step. It is from the previous step. You are passing these many things and you are getting LS job output info. In LS job output info, what you are referring OTF data? Just double click. Now, what this function module is doing, those who have the knowledge, it will convert OTF into PDF and the PDF will come into this internal table. Now I will simply, simply do F6. Now you can see psi sub RC is 4, 4. And but psi sub RC 4 exception is 
error bad otf bad otf just see you are passing otf and what is there in the otf otf has how many record zero records there is no otf and you are converting it to pdf if there is no otf data how i will get the pdf those who have the knowledge they know otf is required compulsory to convert it to pdf yes if otf is blank then how we will get the pdf and system is clearly clearly saying error bad otf now just see this otf data this otf data you are getting from where ls job output info now go back track from where you are getting ls job output info by this function module ls job output info job output info is giving to ls job output info and in ls job output info if i will double click and show you have you seen otf data we are getting completely blank completely now this is the most common mistake especially for the freshers 70 to 80 percent freshers yes we are getting this kind of mistake why why just see here just see if i will go to this function module you are exporting these many things exporting here it is exporting it means in the function module it is importing correct have you seen you have not uncommented the importing if you have not uncommented the importing how how you will get the result how you are you we simply wrote the code but we forgot to uncomment importing itself how system understand that you want to import this thing this is exporting it means in the function module these all will treat as importing in the this is importing here it means in the function module these all are exporting now we have simply simply not uncommented so if we will not uncomment sap understand that you do not want this so but we want we want because our otf is coming into this coming into this so we simply simply has to uncomment most most common mistake which we are doing yes if i will go to this function module you can simply see if I will display this function module, if I will go to export job output info is export. It means in the program it is import, but we have not uncommented import. So how system understand that we want this particular thing. So what I will do, I will simply, simply go for the code. Most, most common mistake. We will go for change mode of the program. And we will simply uncomment this importing. Now system understand that you want this. Previously, you put the parameter name, but you, we are not telling SAP that we want this. So now I will activate the program and we will see the result in the debugging mode again. Because we need to increase our debugging skills. So we will uh, simply, simply learn into debugging. I will give some order number. I will give some dynamic text. I will go to desktop 3. I am currently on 27 number line. I will do F6. See, size of RC0. And we got the result. This portion perfectly fine. F6, 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 F6. Now, I'm simply, simply doing F6. 
psi sub R C zero. And this is what you are returning, what you are getting from this function module. Just double click and check. Do we have OTF data? Yes. Now we have how many records? 156 records. If I will open, yes, we have 156 records. Now, this LS job output info, if I will go for F6, LS job output info hyphen OTF data, how many thing? 156. We are converting it to PDF. And in this internal table, we will get PDF. I'm doing F6. And have you seen, we got 21 records in the PDF. Now we will simply, simply go for downloading of this PDF. After that, we have simply a function module, GUI download, which is downloading. Now done, I'm doing F8 to come out. And have you seen 5KB downloaded? If I will show you, and we are able to see. Most, most common mistake which we do whenever we are converting smart form to PDF. So what is the summary of this debugging challenge? The main, main thing, if you are taking some output thing from the function module, Never forgot that you need to uncomment the respective keywords also. Whenever you are passing, see, from the program, we are exporting the things so that in the function module, it will treat as importing. Now, function module is giving output through export. It means in the program, it is import, import. So do not uh, forget to uncomment the keywords because how system will understand in that case that you want a result from the function module or not. So in our current exercise, we are saying that yes, we want OTF data, but we uncommented the, we forgot to uncomment the keyword itself. So we simply, simply uncommented and now we got the expected output. So that's it in this debugging challenge. Thank you.